Ladies and gentlemen, side strafe back with World of Kill Tiger Tanks. <laughs> we are in the uh, KV-85 today, which I've only played once before. This was the one that replaced, what, the KV-1S? I forget which one that we had before, the beloved 1S. So, kind of getting used to this. Obviously, the reload time is pretty hectic. Over here shooting at my friend. Aim time is not great, but man, when that sucker hits, it hits. Alright, they do have two pieces of artillery, which might want to fire down this corridor. Gotta be careful about that. T-29's duking it out. I uh, can't help you too much. Plus, he's probably going to be hauled down. Set up. T-29 and... Alright, let me think about it. How do we get out of here and go around? Alright. I almost want these guys to shoot so I can help the guy on the right. But... You gonna be able to get him? Yeah, see, I knew that was gonna happen. Why did I show my side like that? Bag of fail. Alright, well... thinking about backing up and uh, going around because those guys are just going to camp there, so we need to go around and deal with the threat from somewhere else. Not necessarily the fastest tank on the planet, but it's not too bad either. Okay, now let's see. I think they took out that other T-29. I'd love to get around these guys and let them have it. Kind of a roadblock over here, isn't there? I can't get through here now, can I? Might be able to go over this, I don't know. Just barely. T-29s are getting surrounded, though. We are in the open. Don't think I can make it to that in time. There are some targets to the right as well. Actually, I might be able to make it here. Wait for me! No! Wait! Wait! Let me do it! Let me do it! Four eighteen. Wasn't a killing blow, but it's damage. Oh! Okay, that scared the frack out of me. <laughs> I thought artillery was hitting me. Hello, my friends. It is Soviet strafe. I am taking over now. Get out of here, you. You got me in trouble last time. Okay, okay. Oh, there they are. My favorite class ever in World of Tanks. That son of a gun got in the way of me killing artillery. AMX, you saved him. I had to shoot at the, the guy coming at me. I had to. It had to be done. Anyway, KV-85, second time out, I think, in that one. Um, not too shabby. Gun hits like a ton of bricks. Uh, so that's nice, I guess. It's just that aim time, but it seems like if you uh, engage at the ranges that we were, uh, it does pretty well. I don't have any modules. Um, not yet, anyway. We'll see about putting some in there. But, uh, you know, that was actually kind of fun. I think I'm going to take the same tank in again. And we're back after another nice, lovely crash to desktop. I guess I'm lucky that it's not during gameplay. It's usually at the end of the match or while I'm in the garage for some reason. Funny, though, I've been playing World of Warships and there hasn't been a single crash yet. And it's closed beta. Let's hope that it doesn't happen now that I've mentioned it. But... Uh, <laughs> World of Tanks seems to 
crash every other patch. Oh, it's fine now. We're stable. We're good. Polished. Excellent. And next patch. See ya. How's that desktop? But where are we going today? I'm at the top of the list. This could be a good game. There is a TOG 2 in here. I would like it to be dead. But there's artillery as well. A couple of Cromwells could be annoying. Where are we going? There's not that many people going up here to do the heavy fight. This guy's going to watch our back with a Hellcat. I don't usually fight up here on this map. I tend to avoid it. Not a fan of it. But I'll try my best. Think about where artillery has angles. Hmm. They're going to rush across this corner here. The artillery could angle something into here if we're not careful. Are there things to shoot at over there? Because if there are, I'll be happy to shoot at them. Excuse me, sir. Oh, it's a tog. Strange that we haven't met any opposition around this corner, though. Cromwell is... Alright, well... There they are. Hey, I knew you guys would show up sooner or later. Oh man, I don't have any... Do I have this? I was wondering if I had that. I couldn't uh, lower the gun anymore. He's like, well, I think now is the time for me to take cover. As he gets behind the rock. And we're up. I would love for you to just kind of try to do a little zippity doo dah through here and let me pull the trigger. You gonna do it? Probably not gonna do it, are you? Oh, I couldn't get that little downward angle there. So. There we go. That's what I wanted to get the first time, but. Couldn't get it. I'm good with that. All right. Wait for the reload. Looks like we've got this match. It's just an easy eight, so I'm not too worried about him. Kind of stuck here. Uh, Churchill gun carrier is looking over. Uh, all right, he's moving now. All right, kind of stuck. Trying to move. The frack is wrong with this terrain. Full speed ahead. Vodka power. All right, let him go there. You guys can shoot him. See you later. Yeah, how's it going? Woo! I'm late for my fishing trip. What kind of gun do you have? Can I see it? Can I see your gun? Hi. What are you doing in there? Did kids build you? Out of cardboard boxes? Looks like it. Dicker Max. What is he doing? Are you raining on my friend's parade over there? What did he ever do to you? 
don't think I'm gonna get to him in time. Aww. Oh well. <laughs> uh, in any case, I think we did our part. It was hilarious when that EZ8 tried to run from me. And I didn't even look back. I was like, dude, you're of no concern to me. I got bigger fish to fry. So I went after that gun carrier instead. Because I knew that by him taking himself out of that cover, that it would open up uh, perhaps potential firing solutions uh, from my friendly vehicles back there. And uh, it all just kind of worked out. And uh, You know, this game may have its issues, but it, it's moments like that that put a smile on your face. But uh, anyway, it's not a bad little tank. I guess I shouldn't say little, but, uh, you know, I, I think we were concerned about having the 1S switched out for this uh, at this tier. Um, I'm not as disappointed. The gun still packs uh, a punch. Just got to deal with the uh, reload time and the accuracy. But again, if you play it like I think we did there, it, it, it works pretty well. Uh, it, it's definitely intimidating. Uh, I'll have to throw some modules on it. I might save some of these ones that I have unlocked for other tanks, though, that I perhaps uh, prefer. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's look at World of Tanks. Uh, while we're here, I want to remind you to check out my World of Warships video. I am thoroughly enjoying that game. And dare I say that in many ways, that game is probably a better designed title than World of Tanks is. And don't take that the wrong way. I do prefer tanks. I like armored ground combat more than anything, but I just want to say that in regards to putting two games together side by side, if you were to ask me which game do you think is better built, I almost have to give it to World of Warships, at least from having played about six tiers, um, maybe about 200 or so games, I think, at this point. Um, I just think that it has natural balances that work very well for it. So in any case, uh, if you can get into the closed beta or uh, when the game actually launches, goes live, check it out. Try it out. It's, again, it's a free-to-play by Wargaming.net. You have nothing to lose. Give it a shot and uh, maybe perhaps just take a look at a few more of my videos if you want my opinions on the title as it progresses through development. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. It is always appreciated, and I will definitely see you on the next one.